Hey you right guys, Trey from Munches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 8 of Scam Austin season 2 I believe. Yeah, episode 8. Uh, last episode I loved, I thought the acting from Kennedy uh, was outstanding, probably the best it's been in all of Scam Austin. I really enjoyed it and it was actually one of my favourite episodes of Scam Austin in general. Um, like I said, there wasn't... Like the first half, or well, it was like 20 minutes or something, well, a lot of the episode was just kind of focusing very much on Grace, um, very close with her, and like I said, I loved, I loved that it kind of gave us like minute by minute of basically her day after the events of episode 7, so yeah, I'm, I'm really into the season at the moment, um, I think the last few episodes basically have been incredible, and hopefully you can keep that up with episode 8 all the way to the finale of season 2. Anyway guys, episode 8, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and all social media stuff will be linked down below if you want to check out any of that. But for now, my friends, let's go. Hey, it's actually oh, not that fuck. hard, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so stressed last night. Well, hey, do you want to go prom dress shopping on Wednesday? You know, Joe found some really cute places, and it's going to be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> like with the old Kelsey, this is what I like. You don't have to be sorry, it's okay. <laughs> but hey... What dress are you thinking? Because I think a dark purple would look so good with your skin tone. Like, amazing. Grace is just like, uh, this just doesn't bother me at the moment. Yeah. Grocery shop, right essay. Reorganize the kitchen. <laughs> Why not? I mean, what was that? A jar full of jelly beans? What is that? No, they're too big. Probably like buns or something. Like that. Yo, know, her eyes! She's not real! And I refuse to believe she's a real human. Oh, I love it, dude. Prom theme. The theme is... Scam. That's my theme. The deadline's next week and I'm really behind, so... I gotta... Gotcha. Go. Can we talk about prom for a second, though? Yeah. Oh, we're having prom, dude. Going limo? Sure. I thought you'd think it was stupid. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, it is really stupid. But, you know, prom's your thing, not mine, so. You gotta love it. Mm, will I, though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck. Hey, so uh, I really am behind. Text me if you need a break. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Gosh, sorry. This courtyard not big enough. Shay and Ty, like, finally. Shay's cool. No, no, I feel cool. like you should watch where you're going. Don't agree with that one, Shay. She accidentally bumped into you. Why are you getting vexed? Oh, this courtyard's big enough for her to pipe down. But he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Like he left me on red. I don't know. Maybe like I was. How is anyone no. gonna read? Uh, how is anyone gonna read Joe on red? Like that's all I'm saying. Like, maybe I shouldn't have sent it. <sighs> These people. You said exactly how you felt, and I'm proud of you for it. Hey Zoya, I mean what I said. Okay. Yeah, all right, mate. Oh, he thinks he's cool. I don't even know this geese, but. You should at least ask him to prom. Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah, go to prom together. Zoya, Zoya, Zoya. Oh, dude, it's not fair. <laughs> I wonder, like, if say this is the episode where she tells someone about what happened in episode seven. I wonder if she tell Eve. Yo, that's a mad transition. I wonder if she tell Eve or the group. I don't know. She just did that all night for like seven hours. Hey. Hey. Eve told me where the spare was. 
Daniel, really? I, I just told you that I needed to focus and that you couldn't be here right now. That's, okay, that's you... not okay. Can you just please leave, okay? Oh my god. I have to get this done. Okay, so if you could just, if you could please leave. Okay, okay I'm not leaving. Wait, no, you, you are leaving because I asked you to leave. Do you not listen to anyone? I'm not leaving. Or, or, okay. or were you just raised that way? Oh wait, you weren't raised. You were raised by a nanny, I forget. So, no, I don't just... come over here. Will you please Stop. leave? Leave. No. Dan, no, I, I don't want you here, okay? You're the last thing I need. It's okay. Right now, it's I know okay. I'm tired and I, I just, I need to focus, okay? It's okay. Okay, no, I, I don't done. need you here. I, I don't know that I'm going to get it done. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get it done. I Stop Chris, asking me what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I, nothing's wrong. It's okay. Fucked. Relax. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Just deep breaths. Okay. Ready? Jesus. Little yeah. goosebumps. <gasps> Very well done. That's like one of my favourite scenes in OG, like season two for sure. <sighs> but again, Austin just keep needing these scenes a little bit. Not that I love seeing Grace like that, but I mean <laughs> acting wise and all that stuff. How are you feeling? Better. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. Oh. oh, I love him so much. Do you want to order tacos? Watch movies all day. Yes, that. What's that? Is she gonna say she loves? I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, she's gonna tell him. I'm not there yet. I love you. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <clears throat> He's already said that, hasn't he? He said it last episode. Fuck. Yo, I've got no Pringles left. I want to celebrate this historic moment, and I've got no Pringles. <gasps> that was so good. Oh, we're doing uh, prom stuff. I look like my dad. I mean, that Wait, try this. She's like, I wish I was fun and Here, not boring. I'm an old hag and We'll let you know if we're gonna steal something, okay? Okay, puñeta, gracias. Adios. <laughs> See you later, chap. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think? Yo, I'll be baby at prom. Cute. I love prom it. Gonna be I like mad. I was like really serious about a pantsuit. I just wanna look like really strong and like powerful and confident and just gorgeous. You're already gorgeous. Yeah, well, yeah. you are all that already, so don't you I know, worry. Right? What about you, Zoya? What happened with Hunter? Nothing. Uh, what yeah, did happen did with Hunter? Mm -hmm. Did he say no? No. If he said no, I'm going to throw my MacBook out the window. He's a dick, you know? Yep. Fuck! Shouldn't have let my guard down. I'm sorry. It's whatever. That's twice it's done that flash. I wasn't really... That... It'd be cool to have a date. Mm -hmm. I'll be his always date, that fuck. That I mean, maybe they've already filmed the prom scene. Definitely already have, parents, but... But go. he was down to hook up. That'd be like some finale he shit. He just wanted to get prom. with the girl in a hijab. Grace, you look so cute! Grace? Grace? Fuck. Is she gonna tell him? Okay, so what's going on? Oh, dude, I'm not going to Something happened? Dude, oh, fuck. Two weeks ago? Two weeks or two days? I think she said two weeks. I wanted to see him. He wasn't there. His brother was, though. Mm, yeah, great, whatever his name is. And my phone had just died when I got there. And he had had some friends over, really low-key. <sighs> okay. 
I didn't know what to think. So I took a shot with him. All I know is oh, that I woke up the next morning. Psychiatrist, dude. In Daniel's bed. My clothes were on the floor. And I was lying next to Clay. And it smelled not like Daniel. I couldn't remember anything. Fuck. Grace, did you go to the doctor? I should have. No, it's it. okay. We can all just go together. Exactly. I love the guy now. She's really nice. <laughs> right. I'm here for you. Miss me okay, she told them. I was curious if she'd tell like Eve or something, maybe. Oh, she's such a good actress, dude. She killed that scene. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Kennedy, Kennedy. All of them, but Kennedy. Oh, dude. I love him so much. Oh, that was such a good clip. Such a good clip. I think she said two weeks as well. I couldn't quite... When I edit it, I'll know. <laughs> but... I think it was two weeks. Yeah, the first ever zombie film, Night of the Living Dead. Have you told him yet? I just told she told Eve that. No. I want my cousin back. The Grace Olsen I know doesn't do that. Do what? Take shit. <laughs> All right, Eve. Let's lay off. I mean, if that works, it works. You're right. I need to talk to Clay. Oh, we're gonna get the like. And he bossy. needs to tell me everything. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna love this scene. Oh my god! I'm on my period. We're starting to see. Oh my god. Hey. Yo, he's walking like he knows something. But talk to Clay. Did you sleep with him? Fuck! Fuck, fuck. This is earlier than I expected it to be. I don't know what happened. I blacked out. I didn't know what to tell you. Daniel. 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 Fuck. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Jesus. You're not gonna go after her? Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> was that it? No! Oh, come on, dude. I thought we were gonna get the scene where she was gonna talk to Clay. What the fuck? Oh, dude, dude, dude. Okay, there we go. That is episode 8 of Scam Austin Season 2. Incredible episode. I love, yo, I love this season so much. I love it. It's, um, I don't want to say it's better than season one yet. I'm going to wait till like the end. Uh, because to be fair, like the last few episodes of season one were really, really good as well. But no, again, straight up, Kenny is acting. I feel it's like the MVP moment of the last couple of episodes. She's absolutely killing it with these last few, well, basically the whole season, but these last couple of episodes, especially, she's just been amazing. So. Yeah, I really do like Grace, and I, I really like Daniel as well. I did, I did anyway prior to this episode, but I feel like they again their chemistry just works so well. Um, but yeah, it's kind of goes hand in hand with episode seven because again, it, we had a lot of those scenes where it's just kind of focusing on Grace and like you know her staying up all night doing essays and not talking to anyone, and then telling everyone at the end kind of what happened in episode seven. Um, like we, she even told Eve, but obviously we didn't see that scene. I don't think we needed to see that scene. It's like we saw her t tell her friends, and that's what mattered. Um, and then, like I say, if they did, did the same scene with Eve, I think it was like either one or the other that she was gonna tell. Um, but no, I'm glad she told her friends out of 
out of the two choices. And that scene was so good, it was so well done. Um, and then at the end there, that like, I didn't expect him, like we knew Daniel was going to find out about it because there's what happens in the OG, but I thought it'd be kind of end of episode 9 when that would happen. It's happened a lot sooner here. Because uh, I thought it was going to cut to the clip where she was going to be like in a cafe or something and talking to Clay, but I guess we're going to be doing that in episode 9, which I'm very, very excited for. Um, but yeah, I feel like all the friends being there for it, they're all, they're all such a good group. They're a great group of, like, the girl squad. And I really do love them all. Like, this is one of the... I Like, all the other Scam remakes, I've grown to, like, love the girl squad, like, later on down the line. But there's always been, like, one or two that are kind of, you know, weaker than the others. But I feel like here... All of them are just fantastic, and it, it, I felt this way even in season one, where it's like I at least liked all the girl squad, at least every member of the girl squad, um, and I'm not just like grown to love them even more and more, uh, and I don't feel like I can say that with any of the scam remakes. To be fair, I feel like there's always one or two, like I say, that are kind of lacking, but here all fantastic, um, and yeah, I really enjoyed this this episode. I'm going to probably give it a nine out of ten again. I think I gave the last one a nine out of ten or something like that. Just as good. Uh, and when they, yeah, that was like, there's another scene, but it was when they said that they loved each other in bed as well. That was so, so cute. And Grace as well, when she kind of had a breakdown with, in front of Daniel. Uh, that is another scene from the OG that I'm like, it's so iconic and it's has to be done well. It, like, it just has to be done well. And here, they did it incredibly well. So, yeah, there we go. Do we only have, wait, nine, ten? I think there's typically 11, 11 episodes with season two correct me if I'm wrong, um, so we have a few more episodes to go, if they do 11, I don't know, they might have 10 planned for this, because this was an extra long episode, this was longer than, I think it's the longest one of season 2 so far, um, so yeah, but thanks for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, let me know all the episode down below in the comments, and I'll be back next, or later this week probably, for episode 9, until then, peace.